Hey guys, so I wanted to do a Christmassy video and I thought I would just do like a sort of chit chatty video of me putting the decorations on my tree. I've just finished putting the lights on my tree. Um, a lovely uh, stream viewer from my Twitch has actually funded me getting new lights because all of my lights broke. I literally was so disappointed. I got my tree out like a few days ago and I was ready to do it and I just, I couldn't. All my lights are dead and I was like, damn it, I've already spent my money and I have no money to spend on decorations. So I did kind of fail a little bit there, but thank you so much, Woody. Um, so yeah, now I just need to put decorations on my tree. <laughs> what are you doing? Maya, what are you doing? Anyways, all my decorations are always wrapped away in this book. And I keep this newspaper, and it's the same newspaper I've had for literally like six years. It's really funny. So all of these decorations are like six years old or older, because some of them are my mum. Oh, it's so pretty. Christmas Eve video like the year before as well. I did like a... What the fuck is this music? Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, and a happy new year. No, not saying that. Should we have another one? Turn it down quickly so you guys can hear me. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. No, so in Peterborough, um, where I work at the moment, inside Queensgate, sorry, thought I'd just come talk to you guys. Um, yeah, inside Queensgate, um, they do every, every year. I didn't even know about it, but I went with my friend and I spoke to them about it and I was like, oh, I didn't even know this happened every year. But there's a big Christmas tree. Um, there's, well, there's a big tree, basically. Um, on like the landing of Queensgate and you can go and there's like loads of kids names on it and it's for like a child's charity for like the kids that are in orphan houses or um, the kids that basically won't necessarily get a lot of presents this year and I thought to myself do you know what I actually feel for these people because like my family wasn't the richest family growing up um, but like, my mum worked so incredibly hard so did my dad equally and so did my stepdad so basically all my parents worked incredibly hard to give me and my sister like a really good life and look like presents and things like that but i obviously know that not everybody's as fortunate to have people looking out for them in that sense so i am definitely going to make together two packages i'm going to do one for a girl and one for a boy although you know me i don't i don't think it really matters if it's a girl or a boy but I figured I could give the girl something from Topshop or something because I've got some things that I've never worn and things like that before. Um, and there were so many teenagers' names left on the trees and I was just like, oh. Like when I'm older, I really would love to adopt one day because I think that's just a nice thing to do. But so I think I'm gonna do that. But you guys, I feel like if you guys wanna do it, you should too. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for like the charity that it's for. Um, I didn't actually, you're meant to just take a name off the tree, but I didn't do that yet because I didn't know what I wanted to buy or what I could afford yet because I, I'm not, I'm not the richest lady in the world. Um, so I figured whatever I can get, then I can pick the suitable name age for the present as opposed to thinking of this chart because at the end of the day um obviously i don't know them either it doesn't really give you any description it just tells you the age and the gender of the child and the name so i figured i could just write the card when i take the present there and i can just pick the most relevant personal age for the present that i find um but yeah 
I just thought I'd let you know you guys know about that in case you wanted to do one too because I think it's such a sweet sweet idea I'll let you guys know what I decide to do for the presents my mum got me quite a lot of my Christmas tree decorations I'm not gonna lie my mum gave me these she absolutely hated them they're like little people here's one but they're I think they're really cute and I think they're just like a bit more traditional and I like having like a lot of traditional style baubles to be honest. I don't like having like all crazy ones. Although this is this is the Christmas tree one my mum got me last year. How cute is this? She got it because oh, I ride motorbikes and so is the person I live with. Um, and obviously it's Santa on a motorbike, so it's pretty it's pretty cool. And then this year she gave me this the other day to put on my tree it's really pretty actually i might find a good home for this before i run out of space i think i'll put that somewhere no, the top is going to be quite heavy yeah it's quite a heavy one so it would probably this in oh it's so heavy shit might need like two branches i mean it looks cuter just done that, but, but yeah, that's quite cute. Okay, I also went to Liberty, like, was it last year or the year before? I think it was the year before last. And I picked up these two ones. These are from Liberty. I think all of these sort of ones are from Tesco's, I think. Um, and I think that was maybe from Tesco or something too. That one was from um, Paper Chase. Cute, right? I got an Alice in Wonderland one. These are a bit novelty, I guess. I have a few novelty ones on my tree then. Just not, just not tons. I don't like tons of novelty ones. But a few are cute. And I love purple glitter. You better, you better. I'm telling you what. Got a few of these little glass stars as well. You need to be careful because I don't know where they are hiding. And they are obviously made of glass, so they're pretty. Scary ones to use. So Sainsbury's. I don't think it's actually meant to be a Christmas tree topper, but it's what I use it for like every year. Can you guys see the top? <laughs> I didn't realize that it cuts off at a certain time. So like my Christmas tree is nearly done, but it's like it, it basically cut a little bit. It stopped. I didn't know that iPhone said that. Look how pretty is this one is. This is like one of my favorite decorations. Like don't ask me why, I just, I think it's so pretty. I should have an apple somewhere too, but I just... We well, love it, I think it's really pretty. Really pretty, pretty. I want this in the front somewhere near the top. Probably gonna swap it out for a bit. What do you guys think of my tree? All it needs is candy canes, so I forget. I need to add candy canes. Also, I desperately need a nice cup of tea. <laughs> so badly. Yeah, I need a cup of tea. 
Oh, I might show you guys my um, dining room as well. This is kind of where I spent most of my money this month. It's on my dining room. Okay, I don't have a light, like a lighter. So, you know, gotta do it like the old school way. So this is my fireplace for my main living room area. I love it. So basically this was a garland that I had like a few years ago, but my rabbit used to chew on these, these things, the berries, the baked berries. So loads of them were wrecked. So what I did was I chopped it all up instead. Um, so it's actually like loads of pieces as opposed to like one long thing, but I think it's made it look fuller and I really like it. These candles are from Wilco's, they were a pound each and they're ginger bread smelling ones. They smell amazing. Um, Everything else is basically the same on my fireplace. This little guy was from b and I absolutely love him. He is so cute and his um, thing, it like bends and twists wherever you want it. And so this is my other fireplace. It looks pretty cute, right? It's actually an electric fire and you can actually make it check out heat, but it's like probably the most expensive way of heating your house ever. Lay up, stay up. Um, no, but so this one was a garland that I also owned. My mum gave me this one, actually. She didn't really like it. Um, and then all I've done is add fresh potpourri. Ugh, I don't want to put my hand over the fire because I've got long sleeves. But like, all these bits are all loose because they're all like fresh bits of potpourri. Um, and they've just added a really nice scent to it. So it's just like a normal dining room. But then, ah. <laughs> I love the lights, they're so cute. Nearly spilled my tea everywhere. Anyways, I'm going to go back to the cake. So you can't see me with my Christmas tree. But yeah, so I guess it's coming up to Christmas as always. Um, and I thought I would just have like a little catch up with you guys and see how everybody's doing, have a cup of tea. I feel like my house is pretty much fully Christmas decorated. The only thing I might do is add a few of those silver balls I've got left onto my little tube that's in my gaming area. And obviously I need to clean up my gaming area too. Um, but yeah, like I'm pretty happy. I've been getting quite a lot of housey bits done lately, which is making me happier. I've been doing a few early about the work where I used to, like the, the work that I'm still at now, which has been really good to be honest, because it means I can do stuff in the day. Um, so coming up to the new year and things like that, I just wanted to let you guys know, those of you that do watch me streaming probably already know, um, but I got a new job and I'm starting it in two weeks time. It's like the same sort of job, but it's just in an outfit store instead of a top shop. So I'll be a visual merchandiser team leader um, and my responsibility will be a lot more brands opposed to just having top shop. I'll be looking after like top man, um, Oasis, Evans, Warehouse, Kids, um, Miss Selfridge, like there's going to be quite a few different things that I'm looking at, which I'm really excited about because it's like a new challenge for me. This Christmas, um, Christmas day, I'm definitely going to be streaming by the way guys, haven't decided what times yet, don't know what I'm officially doing, my mum's inviting me around to hers, I'm not sure what's happening with my housemate and stuff, so probably this year. I don't know, like, I kind of want to stay at home, but then it's my nephew's first Christmas and I don't know whether I should be at my mum's because of that or whether I could just stay home. Also waiting to find out from my new work because I'll be at my new place of work for Christmas um, if I'm working Boxing Day or New Year's Eve because if I'm not working one of those days, which I won't be working which one, but I don't know which one yet, I will be inviting people around for food and I'm gonna do like a food thing. Um, which I'm really excited about because then people can come and like get all magical hopefully and feel a bit festive because I feel like I've made quite a good job of making the house all festive and I now feel complete because I have a tree. But yeah, anyways, let me know below what you guys are up to for Christmas and what you guys are asking for and if you guys have got Assassin's Creed oranges, let me know if it's good or not. Um, statue wise, sorry, I just wanted to touch upon this one thing. There will be one review coming out before Christmas and then obviously next year, I will have to have the unboxing um, video stroke review. I haven't decided yet whether I'll video the unboxing because this is like so precious to the person I live with. They'll probably want to like unbox it too. Yeah. 
that's kind of everything to tell you guys. Anyways, have a nice evening, day, whatever you're up to. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. As always, have a good night.